welcome back to my channel i am back with another diy project this one is a photo box that i personally made for my boyfriend but this is also a great gift idea for friends and family you will need a small wooden box i personally use a wooden photo caddy that I found at Michael's. I thought it was even better for my project specifically. You will also need a small bottle of paint. I preferred using black. And also you would need your printed photos and paper to place your printed photos on. Here I am painting my photo caddy. Um, Personally, I wanted my box to be black. You can always leave it the same color of the wood or you can also paint it any other color you want. Um, I placed two coats on. In between coats, it takes about 10 minutes to dry. And two coats I was able to complete with one bottle of paint. On the outside of my caddy you can see I place map locations but if you're doing this gift for friends and family you can put photos on the outside instead but if you are interested in using map locations like I did and text messages what I did was screenshot the location on the map on my phone and I screenshot my text messages and I printed them along with my photos at CVS For the photos, I cut them to the size of the box opening and I also cut strips of paper to place the photos on. And as you can see here, when you fold the paper back and forth, you're able to create that pop-up illusion of when you pull the photos out the box, it just creates a, you know what I mean, that look, I guess. <laughs> Once you start your project, you'll better understand what I mean by folding your paper a certain way. I use liquid glue to paste my pictures onto the paper, but I would suggest a glue stick because it's less messy. Here you can see I am almost done and at the end of my photo strip, I had excess paper which I glued down to the bottom of the box. And here's the finished result. 